Good morning! I am currently in a place called Marple walking along the Peak Forest Canal and I've got a different type of walk today for you. I'm not up in the hills or in the mountains but I am walking nice and low down. We've had so many thunderstorms, lightning, I think the rain is still planned for today so I can't imagine me staying dry for too long but we have got a short walk today of only about 4.2 miles and I found this route on the Country Walking magazine site so I've never done it before so I'm excited to explore it. There is going to be a canal, there's going to be locks, there's going to be an aqueduct, a viaduct, we're walking along the Midshires Way for a small section, we also have an estate house I walk past, a park and a wood so we've got so much variety packed into four little miles and I cannot wait to explore them. The Peak Forest Canal is one of Britain's pretty waterways and it runs all the way to the edge of the Peak District. It's 15 miles long and starts at Duckingfield Junction at the Ashton Canal and goes all the way to Bugsworth Basin. Now a lot of it runs alongside the River Goit. Construction first started in 1794 and it was designed to transport limestone from the quarries of Derbyshire. It opened in 1800 but it wasn't until 1804 that Marple Locks were finally completed. There's the upper section which is one of the highest summits in the country that runs along the valley of the River Goy and the lower part runs that of the River Tame. There are a total of 16 locks here at Marple and it's said to be, oh, big steep step, said to be one of the steepest flights in Britain. Starting from the bottom, going all the way to the top of the locks takes around about 20 minutes. I am now standing at Marple Aqueduct, which is right behind me here. It is the tallest masonry arch 
aqueduct here in Britain. And it was designed by the engineer and architect, Benjamin Outram. Work started on it in 1794 and it was opened in 1800, so it took six years to build. And it stands nearly 100 feet above the River Goit. And that is why it was built to carry the Peak Forest Canal over the River Goit. Behind me is Marple Viaduct and the work started here in September 1861 and completed in September 1862 and was opened within two months for transport and this was built at the height of the cotton famine so it was a welcome relief for them when this was built. Now it stands at 124 feet above the river and in total is 918 feet long. It's comprised of 13 arches as well as a cast iron girder bridge. It might have started raining but it is still a lovely place to come and sit looking at the aqueduct and the viaduct have a cup of coffee and what have i got with me today a date and a walnut flapjack <laughs> I think it's fair to say a lot of this um, path when you get through the wood is a little bit overgrown it's not very well maintained I would highly recommend oh going <laughs> through the forest down and up the other side not this way
That little section I've just walked through was Braben's Park and I'm now on the Midshires Way section. I crossed over the River Goit at the Iron Bridge there and it was a lovely peaceful park, very still and calm. And now I am heading back towards Marple Station. I am just about at the end of my walk today and I thought I would say goodbye next to this lovely lily pond rather than the busy road behind me near Marple Station because it's a little bit noisy over there. But we have had quite a lot in this short walk today. We've had a lovely walk along the canal, seen all the locks. We've seen an aqueduct, a viaduct. We've also walked through a wood, a park, we have had quite an adventure with me getting attacked by a hedgerow and living to tell the tale. Even though I've got quite a few nettle stings, I would highly recommend walking through that wood and not along the side trail because it's a little bit overgrown. But I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you have, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel, turning on the bell notifications so you're notified when I upload videos. If you want to support me further and see even more content, head over to Patreon. Details will be in the description box below and coming up on screen in a minute. But I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye!